Lewis Park uh, OTS Championship, and I'm with the second place uh, deck. Uh, is, uh, his name is Jacob, and he's playing Sub Terrors. That is correct. <laughs> now let's pass it off to him. All right, cool. So yeah, getting into the deck, uh, we played a three guru. Um, it's pretty standard. Um, this is the card that it's a quick effect book of moon, and it searches all your sub terror cards. Uh, three Fiendus, uh, this is basically an Ash um, on crack. It uh, negates spells, traps, or monsters if you have a face-up Guru card, and it also has a cool Monster Reborn effect, too. Um, so that's the three ofs. Um, play one, Umatrix. This is like a flip face-up to banish one. It also has an effect to flip itself face down. And the Archer, which spins and floats. So um, this was the package for Guru, and uh, Hidden City like lets you have access to Guru, which gets you access to all of them. It's a plus two, so that's why we play that package. Um, hand traps, we have Ash Blossom, pretty standard. Uh, I chose to main deck uh, Phantasma just for how diverse the format is. Uh, it's a good, easy side out, and it was uh, it was all right today. Um, I sided out like every time against Dino. Uh, played Dino three times today, so um, didn't come in handy against that. For spells, uh, three extravagance is a must. Uh, very good, resolve this card too many times. Actually, I think every time. Um, we played three Hidden City. Uh, gets you access to all your Guru uh, cards. Lets you flip your face, uh, your Guru cards face uh, face up, and then also lets you uh, negate attack. So three effects in one, pretty good. And just basically for the, the other one, uh, two Duality, uh, two Super Poly. I chose to just main deck this just for uh, breaking boards, going second. Another card I chose to main deck. Uh, I'll show you later for that. Same thing. Um, was all right, and then nonetheless, it's an easy side out. Uh, two call by the grave. Just wanted to fit it in, just to have more disruption and make sure that my plays resolve. Three final battle. Uh, this card is amazing. It's not once per turn. It's a scrap iron scarecrow. It has like four different effects uh, that just lets you flip your stuff whenever you want to, uh, enabling their effects. It also lets you protect your sub terror cards from being negated and uh, just lets you uh, basically have like uh, honest like every turn by doubling, combining the attacks. Very good card. Searchable by Guru. Uh, for control, we have three Solemn, uh, two Crackdown, two There Can Only Be One, uh, two Evenly for just breaking boards, and, main and then again, it's just an easy side out, and two Strike, and that was the main deck. Uh, and for the extra deck, uh, just all super poly targets, so three Mud Dragon. It's actually cool, you can actually OTK um, with your own super poly uh, after you attack and double Umatrix with the Guru, and this is basically game after you control your first turn. Uh, actually came up one time. Um, three of the Starving Venom, three of the Predator Plant for three Darks. This is against uh, just random Cybris decks and uh, Salad. Uh, this is for uh, breaking Link boards, and then these were supposed to be waking the dragon targets, but I couldn't figure it out in time, so I just played them as other super quality targets. And for the side, we have Triple Dimension Shifter. Um, this is against just like, DD Crow and Macro are pretty good against like every deck in the format needs their graveyard and pops off. So I just figured if I go second, um, lose a die roll, this could be like a good against uh, Salad, against Invoke, Shadals, um, whatever it is. It's like a DD, uh, DD Crow throughout their whole turn. So a lot of times they just pass. Good against Dinos too. So I chose to main that. Uh, one ofs. I just didn't really have too much room through my side deck together today actually. I would have put more spell trap removal. Uh, through Mystic Mine in just to uh, deck has a really good matchup uh, against anything with Mystic Mine because you just sit on uh, your final battle and all your stuff becomes just huge. The third Super Poly Summon Limit didn't come in handy today. Uh, this would probably be like Heavy Storm Duster or Twin Twisters. And then um, this card and this card were pretty MVP. They shut a lot of my opponents turns down. They passed to me. I was able to accumulate the Snowball Advantage. And the last card was evenly. So, um, yeah, I went, um, I think, seven, or let's see, eight, one today. Um, undefeated through Top Cut, and it was uh, really fun, and I really enjoyed the deck. So, yeah, thanks, okay. for, thanks for having me. All right, cool. Um, yeah, thank you for the deck file, and uh, yeah, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in this video. Have a day.